Atari boss Frederick Vasseur was left furious after FP1, launching an angry rant at the organizers of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Frederick Vasseur has launched a scathing attack on the organizers of the Las Vegas Grand Prix, claiming that the damage Carlos Sainz suffered during FP1 was unacceptable. The Ferrari driver brought an early end to the first practice session after he ran over a loose drain cover. Sainz was making his way down the straight at full speed when he ran over the cover, tearing it loose from the socket and causing major damage to the underside of his SF-23. He was forced to immediately pull over to the side of the track and stop the engine. This eventually brought an end to the session altogether as the stewards decided not to resume the session despite the drivers getting just nine minutes of green flag running under their belts. Discussing the impact of the incident, Vasur explained, The situation is that we damaged completely the monocoque, the engine, the battery and I think it's just unacceptable. The Ferrari team principal was then asked to look at the bigger picture for the weekend when he chimed in saying, Yeah, but this one is a good one. I don't need to have a bigger picture. This wasn't the end of the line of questioning as Vasseur was asked about the Las Vegas GP event as a whole, to which he responded, Yeah guys I am not sure that it's the topic for me today. We had a very tough FP1. It will cost us a fortune. We F asterisk 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 ed up the session for Carlos. We won't be part of FP2 for sure. We have to change the chassis out from the car, to set up the car. Okay. The show is the show and everything is going well. But I think it's just unacceptable for F1 today. Sainz wasn't the only driver on track to suffer at the hands of the drain covers either with Alpine's Esteban Ocon also picking up major damage from the same source. The French driver will have to undergo changes to the chassis ahead of FP2 with the FIA's technical delegate report confirming that the number 31 car will take a new survival cell following the incident. Unfortunately for Sainz, his damage was much more extensive. The 29-year-old will take a new internal combustion engine, energy store, survival cell and control electronics after FP1.